Hello again, everyone. This is Gilmer, and this is episode 26 of my Let's Play Field of Glory Empires. I'm playing as Rome, and we are at war with Macedonia. The, uh, let's see. So they're, they're winning right now, but as you can see, their income, legacy income is down to 99 per turn, and I'm up to 69. So we're taking what they have and keeping it. And that's just something that has kind of the strategy I have. Uh, the Antigonids, honestly, I'm not real sure about what's going on with the Antigonids. Other than uh, other than they're in second place. Or third place, but they're coming up fast as well. They they're bringing in more legacy points in Macedonia or I, but not if we are able to take over everything from um, from Macedonia. Uh, army strength equivalent, enemy fleet strength equivalent. Uh, five provinces, thirty four regions stable. 350 cities and 97 slaves expanding. 97 slaves, that's a lot. Uh, slave markets. So, this is the overview. These are the modifiers. Empire. Glorious nation. nation. Aristocratic elite. Oh, military expertise. Average military expertise. Well, it doesn't really tell me, does it? It doesn't really say. I thought there was supposed to be a number somewhere around here that tells me exactly... I uh, never noticed that tab. Nation traits. Maybe this is it. Um, bonus. Military expertise, 2.68. That's what I was looking for. See, I need to get that up. The bigger, the higher it is, the bigger the bonuses you'll get in leadership and troop training. Military expertise for this nation is calculated using the count and the tier level of any military buildings, including walls, stables, and military workshops, divided by the number of regions. A ratio of one or lower gives a penalty. If the ratio reaches four, a nation gains some bonuses, and these improve as the ratio improves. Additionally, city garrisons also get an additional bonus in experience for military buildings in their region or their province. So as you can, excuse me. So as you can see, um, two point six eight. I need to get that up. Very quickly. Or, well, not... I don't have to do it very quickly, but I do want to get it higher. And it probably doesn't help that I keep fighting or taking regions that... Although this one has four. This one has three. This one has three. I've built some of these, though. This one has none. This one has none. This one has one, and this one has one. So I need to get those up because the the ratio is kind of poor. Where is that? That's where that one was. Okay. So we are besieging Macedonia, Pella Macedonia, however it's called, but... um. It's, it's actually a in an objective for me. So we're sieging that. Uh, this still repairing a little bit. Last turn they repaired some. They were, I think they were they gained about 40 points of power back. Uh, this is Dalmatia. They're allied with me. I don't I think we're starting to wear them down. We are at war with. 
Macedonia and the Chthonies. Chthonies. And the Chthonies are not very strong, actually. And I actually don't even know why we're at war with them, to be honest. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so they're a little bigger than they were. They've got six regions. So, you know, whatever. We will definitely uh, keep an eye on them. We're not at war with the Etruscans anymore because uh, I believe they are conquered. This one has three military buildings. God. It takes forever. Growth in 13 turns. Uh, two. Thirty one turns. I'm building a lot of stuff. And then this down here. It's taking forty four turns. That actually if you ask me that should be a military structure, but I'm not gonna to cry too much about it. Anyway, um I'm moving a small unit of horse to uh, join with this army so that I have a little bit more horse coverage. And then this unit just took their capital. Um, honestly, don't like those two, but what are you going to do? Uh, food plus seven. Food plus 37. So let's go ahead and uh, process a turn. There you go. There you go. Heavy infantry, regular infantry, mercenary. So as you can see, we are doing pretty well against their units. This, this turned red, and now it's turned back to blue again. Interesting. I think I've seen that one, once before, and I don't really understand why they're able to do that. It's almost as if an army comes in and immediately garrisons before we're able to even engage them. Uh... I'm not going to go over that again. Uh, and we jump to desktop again. That's so hilarious. 
I don't know why that occurs, but let's put him there. Let's put them there. I'm not sure what's going on there. And this is down to 19 turns. I'm not going to do that yet. They need that. Uh, this is at 43 tur turns. That's at plus 75. When they hit 5,000, we'll get more points we're up to 70 per turn uh, Macedonia is still at 99 the Antigonids are the, you know what I keep forgetting to check something we're being blockaded so let's see what who's blockading us and if we can't block uh, not block but uh Raise the siege. Just conquered three. Um, besieged harbor smuggling. Oh, well. Uh, walls unbreached one of two. Uh, no penalty there. No penalty there. Um, we can move some of these down now. Because we certainly don't want we certainly don't want them to uh, we don't want their population to grow too quickly I'm sorry I, I get to thinking about stuff and then I just I just kind of clam up that one's still under just conquered yes so we don't want to do anything there and that one's okay as you can see the power of this went to 407 that's because more ships were repaired and as long as I can I'm ahead of Macedonia and then eventually in the Antigonids. I'm happy. I, I, you know, if I'm bigger than them and I'm outgaining them in legacy points, I'll be happy. What is that? Where is that? Augustana. Is that this place? No. Oh, it's up here. They're up here wasting all their power trying to take these regions up here while I'm down here take, going to be taking their very populous and prosperous regions down here. So let us run a turn and see what happens. And we'll also check on the Antigonids. See how it's red? I asked on the forums if there would ever be in game a way to place your troops and they said no. It's the same problem. They said it's I guess similar to the problem that they have with uh, 
transporting the battles into Field of Glory too. And but it's a it's different, but it's Oh, look at that. Okay, we'll take a look at what the Antigonids are doing. There I am, plus six. I gained another progress token. Oh, that's because I took the... Uh, I took my... There are the Antigonids right there. So they're in the top third. So we captured this. Food minus two. We definitely don't want that. Um, still got two turns there. Our armies marched into Macedonia and conquered the region from Macedonia. Our para's military skill is without equal the objective. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we were raided, but they were defeated. Ooh, another 2 1 general. So we lost a 0, zero general and got a 2-1 general. That's not bad. I have to tell you. Um, yeah, we should we should be able to beat them. How many units are there? 3 units. And we have 19 units. So that's pretty good. Let's look at the, uh, we're up to 77. And they're down to 96. But they're up to 120. Crazy. Um, one twenty sixty eight from regions. Holy crap. Holy moly. I'm I'm tempted. That's that's an objective. I'm tempted to go that way. Just conquered four turns. Just conquered two turns. That's another objective. Boeotia or Boeotia. Thebe, Thebes. Thebe. So that's Thebes. That's if you've ever uh, delved into Greek mythology, that's the, uh, that's the Thebes area. Just about all of these are have been mentioned or talked about in Greek mythology or the movie 300 or something along those lines. Uh, if you've ever played uh, Titan's Quest, which is kind of a Diablo clone, uh, you'll see a lot of these because it does, you go through ancient Greece in that, in that game. So, You see what I'm doing, don't you? I'm building military structures. And then there's this one over here. Let's see what it looks like. National traits. Um, military expertise went down. 2.77? Oh. No? Unless, unless we get some kind of penalty... Because that's only four. So if that's 50%, that's would be counted as two. I don't see where it says there's a 50% penalty on military expertise, but I'd be willing to bet there is. Um, I guess if you build... I wonder if you build non-military units or structures... Does the the ratio go down? I bet it does. So all these places I'm building, you know, uh, commerce commercial 
almost I was trying to say commerce and commercial at the same time, but uh, all these com commercial structures and all these uh, culture structures might be messing up my ratio as well. Coastal Fortress. I don't like that it's... I'm at 253, so we'll move one of these. That's 20 turns. What do we have here? Growth in 13 terms. It, it's been growth at 13 terms for a while now. Growth. I'm going to move one of those. Well, since I'm not getting anything out of these, I'm going to do that. Let's see what this is. It's down to 42. That's Italian inferior. We need that one, that one, and that one to finish up. Anyway. Uh, I like this. I, I like... I like the way I'm set up here for the final push on Macedonia. Just this part. You know, the rest of it, they'll still be alive up here somewhere. Well, they'll be... They've got a lot of regions up here, don't they? Damn. Well, when I take this part, I think I will try to get peace with them. Because this this is the important part in this part. And maybe this part too. Phrygia. Because then I'll have to turn my attention to the Antigonids. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one more turn before I call the video over. And just see. I want to see about this. Yeah. So the only one that didn't sink is one of their heavy warships. All right. Not bad, but it was damaged heavily. Okay. One unit. That was simple enough. Ooh. What happened to my... Oh boy. I lost my general. We still won. We sunk three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sheep ships. That's not too shabby. We need to get a general, and I'm going to at least run the turn long enough to give him a general because he needs to have a general. Uh, 
Uh, no, thank you. Jeez. They don't last very long, do they? Oh, man, that's another... Look at all these objectives in Macedonia. But uh, before I leave, I want to get at least a general in place for him and then move him so that he can repair himself some and anyway folks that's the end of the video um i'll save it after here but thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time